Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new home office. You might be wondering how I got my office to even look like this, but first we'll have to go further back in time when my office actually looked like this. It's a plain room, white walls, nothing special about it, and you can't really do anything crazy because I do rent the place and I don't own it. And this is what the office looked like about a week after moving in, and it was kind of messy. Just boxes everywhere, my desk at a random location. That wasn't really great. Okay, so I had three goals in mind when coming up and designing this space. One, I wanted this space to be a place where I can have a, an amazing backdrop for meetings and even videos like this. Two, I wanted this space to be a very functional and working space as it is my home office. I have things around me that's all of an arm's reach of anything that I need, such as pens, pencils, anything that would kind of help me be more productive and work a lot better and more efficient throughout the entire use of this room. And rule number three is something that, that every time I walk in, I get motivated to actually do work. Where I begin to create a replica of what the room is currently and what it could become. So I went on to add the spaces that aren't really seen, such as the closet where the washer and dryer are located, adding the door. So when looking at this at a plan, you begin to kind of realize there are certain needs that needed to be taken into consideration. One, having the accessibility to the laundry room. Two, would be having that walkway through the entire office space to get to the closet and storage space. So that shows the initial design where we decided to put the desk. So the first design, we decided to put the desk on the wall where you can overlook everyone to kind of have that separation be applied so we don't have people hanging over and always looking over. So that creates a separation from that part of the room with the rest of the room. And by applying the shelves on the left hand wall along with the rear wall would create that L-shaped backdrop that would one be good for different angles of recording either videos or rec or having meetings which was another goal and another rule that we were looking into but also helped create this room to be a more functional room allowing you access to the washer and dryer and by, and by moving the desk it creates this little cove area where it separates anyone walking, which they'd be walking in front of me and allows me to continue to have this, this backdrop that would kind of show your professionalism and kind of show your interest and kind of connect with rule number one that we talked about earlier. So once that all started, so once that was all figured out, the main problem was getting the material and actually building it. Lover, lover, 